Hi guys, my name is Morgan, and I apologize if this video is all over the place. I did get a lot of sleep, and I never am really good at filming, and yeah. I thought that I would do an Amazon haul of my books I recently just got. So, I don't know how I'm going to go around this. I'm just going to, I guess, go in order and just grab the books and tell you what they're about. So, the first book I have is You Asked by Perfect by Laura Silverman. And this book is about a guy named Ariel. I didn't realize that Ariel was actually a boy. Um, I didn't realize that at all because like I grew up with a girl named Ariel and she's a girl. So to hear a guy named Ariel, it, I don't know, it confused me. So I just like assumed it was about a girl. But um, even though there's a guy right in the cover. But I can't just say how I love this cover because like this part is like out if that makes sense does that make sense I, you can't even tell anyways this book is about a guy named ariel who is um, applying for colleges and he wants like the perfect resume so he's like um the first chair for the violin and he's a volunteer and he's basically doing everything he can to have like the perfect college resume but then he starts to fail math which i mean math sucks anyways like i hate math so i understand um and he decides to get this guy to help tutor him named amir but when he's with amir he starts to kind of i don't know feel like a teenager again and the academic pressures kind of like fall off his shoulders but while having like a carefree time with amir he starts to like feel the academic pressure because like college deadlines are coming soon and so it's all about like juggling the both and kind of be like you asked for perfect but he's not perfect obviously no one's perfect so i don't know i kind of picked it up because i just like the cover of it and i'm excited to read it because it it sounds like it's a really good coming of age story if not a really cute love story so this next book is tell me three things by julie box bomb box Bum, box bum. I apologize if I said that wrong because I'm horrible with names um, but this book is a book that I've been seeing around forever I think it came out in like 2000 I guess 2015 2013 2016 uh, so it came out like three years ago and I saw it around wanting to pick it up but never really committed to picking it up but when I saw that um Amazon I think it was like eight dollars or seven dollars I was just like I'm gonna get it I'm just gonna get it I'm gonna I'm gonna press that button and get it um but this book is um about a girl who is going to a LA prep school and the only people that she knows in LA is her new stepbrother and her stepmom and her, both of them are really like I guess snobby and rich and snobby and she kind of feels lost in this world of like really rich people and then she gets a email I think an email is it an email yeah she gets an email from a per anonymous person and they start having a online relationship that kind of reminds me of um this movie called you got mail which is like kind of like the same thing of like they don't know each other but they've been emailing each other also reminds me of a K Cassie West book <laughs> that is not correct. So this is Morgan from the future and I just realized I said uh, Casey, not Casey West, I said Cassie West. It's Casey West. I'm an idiot. I apologize. I'm completely wrong. It's Casey West, not Cassie West. I'm an idiot. Called P.S. I Love You, which, let me grab it, is this book right here, which is kind of like the same thing where she's writing notes to someone in class that she doesn't no is like anonymous um so it kind of reminds me of what like this book would be about because if this book's i mean if this book's like this book then i'll be very happy because i really quite enjoy this book so the next book i have is the field guide to a north american teenager by ben phil i want to say philip like that sounds right phillips phillips no philip philippi 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 i apologize this is about a teenager who is black who's canadian who um loves to watch american sitcoms and he kind of like puts you know he kind of views american high schools as like you know like kind of like me not mean girls but like like they all have their little clicks like the jocks the geeks the loners the goths stuff like that so then he actually um, moves to austin texas and he goes to this new school and there he puts everyone in their own boxes 
but then due to like an accident that happens in prom he basically has to like break down those walls and realize that everyone can be put in a box and everyone is like a stereotype and I don't know I just picked it up because I thought like the cover was really cute hence like the issue I have a lot of time with my books is that I pick it up because of the cover and I never read them because I'm like I don't really like the book halfway through but anyways the cover is really cute I love how there's like a moose oh, wrong way there's a moose right there and like a pie and a um a maple leaf for Canada and then right here is like underneath is all the like um things to do with Austin I guess like like there's Texas there's iced coffee I don't remember what that's called uh armandilla 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 Arm it's an armadillo I hope this is a really good coming to age story I'm excited to read it. So the next book I have is, this is an epic kind of love story, and I apologize, I don't think I'm going to say this name right, but Kyron, no, Karen, is, I don't know how to say it, Kyron Calendar? I apologize, I'm really bad at saying names, I apologize once again, but this is a LGBTQ plus story, just like, um, I'm not perfect, um, and I am really excited to read it because not only is it about the gay community. I think one of the characters characters are Hispanic, one of the characters is black, so I'm really excited to see diversity in books. This book is actually about a guy named Nathan whose best friend turned girlfriend turned best friend again is basically trying to send him up with someone else which is kind of difficult for Nathan since Nathan's heart is basically closed up because of the fact that his father died in an accident and it ruined his mom and so he kind of like closed his heart up from any love and dress and then um, in comes his old childhood crush Oliver I think his name is Oliver Oliver and they were best friends but due to like this mix-up they end up not being best friends but anyways he moves back to town and of course things happen I hope this is a really cute love story I think a lot of times like especially with the LGBTQ plus community there's not a lot of stories for them in YA books so I'm excited to see more stories more diversity this is a really exciting book and I really hope I enjoy it and I really hope it's a good romantic comedy book and I probably explained this completely wrong I apologize so the next book I have is When the Sky Fell in Splendora by Emily Henry and this book actually I saw a booktuber talk about it which was book books and Lala or book Lala books no book books and Lala which is a youtuber that I absolutely adore and she talked about this and she seemed to really enjoy it so I thought that I should also check it out this book is about six teenagers who were all affected by this steel mill exploding in her town which basically either killed or seriously harmed people that they know and people that they love and due to this they all kind of form a group together called the ordinaries and they basically go around their town and they film YouTube videos but then one day there is a crash and they decide to go and explore it and of course things happen so I'm excited to read this mostly because of the fact that I love sci-fi books and I love I love anything to do with like aliens um so I really hope this is a really um I don't know not like so much fantasy book I hope this is more so like a sci-fi book slash like maybe a little thriller in it I hope they get superpowers I'm thinking about the Power Rangers I apologize but I'm excited to read it I also ordered another Emily Henry book from um, book outlet so I haven't read anything from her but I don't know she seems like she seems like she she seems like a really cool person that drinks a lot of kombucha so yeah so the next book I have is Only a Breath Apart by Katie McGarry. 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 Anyways, this book is about two best friends who are no longer best friends. They were really good best friends growing up, but due to something, they're no longer best friends. Uh, Jesse's lived on this farm his whole life and he's told by his mother that if he ever leaves the farm that he will basically be cursed not just like leave for school like if he actually moves out of the farm he will be cursed to never find like the person 
to love him, if that makes sense. And Scarlet is told that she's psychic. Also, on top of that, her father is very abusive to her, I think, from what I'm getting from, like, the plot. Not plot. The, the, this, this part. And then, now that they're teenagers, uh, Jesse's grandmother passes away, and in her will, the only way that he'll be able to, uh, get basically in his inheritance the farm is if his best friend forgives him or if his best friend's like I don't know gives her blessing I don't know what this book is really about I don't know I just like the cover because I think the cover is really beautiful um I really hope it's a good book um I don't know I really just got it for the cover is that bad to say the next book I have is a book I'm really excited to talk about because it actually just came out yesterday. I pre-ordered it. I was really excited to read it. Actually, when I saw it, I was like going to buy it, but then I realized I had to wait two months for it to be released and I was wicked upset. And that is Red, White, Royal, Blue. There's a couple things I actually love in books. I love love stories. I love, I love um, like fake relationships. I don't know why, but I love that whole concept. I love um, like like royalty, like princes, but I don't like fantasy royalty. Like if it's like a fantasy, sometimes I don't like that. Well, majority of the time I don't like that. This book definitely hit on the muscle stuff, like a fake relationship, a love story, <laughs> and then like having a prince. And I had everything that I absolutely love in books, and it doesn't matter to me that it's two guys' um, love story because honestly, like if it's about if it's a straight couple, gay couple, I don't care. If it's a lesbian couple, I don't care. As long as the story's good, I don't care reading about it. I don't think that you have to be gay or bi to be able to enjoy a story about a gay couple or a bi couple. You you don't have to be. Um, and I think that it's awesome that we have these types of books in YA now because growing up, you would never see a book like that. So I'm really excited to see it. I'm going to stop ranting and I'm going to tell you what the book's about and why I'm so excited about it. So this book is about a guy named Alex whose mom is the president of the United States. And it's also about, about Henry who is the Prince of England. And they too, they don't get along at all. Soon due to an incident, people know that they hate each other and it causes a lot of issue between the American government and the British government and so the PR or the handlers, I don't know what you would call them, they decide to come up with a plan and basically have them fake a friendship and fake that they're really close to each other but soon they get really 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 close to each other and uh, they start to fall in love and it's pretty much like this is like a dangerous love like they shouldn't be in love because like it could ruined his mom's pres presidency and can cause a lot of issues because we all know how people some people are um so i don't know i'm really excited to read it I, I this is basically everything i would love in a book and i'm excited to read it oh also and also i'm sorry i, I got so excited even to say who the writer is this is by casey mcquest miss question and i'm pretty sure this is like her first ever book so Oh, I'm really excited to read it. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And if there's any of these books that you want me to do a review on or any of these books that you like you really think I should read first, please write it down below. I love talking and I love... Uh, oh, I do love talking. I love uh, talking to other people about books and just having a conversation and yeah thank you for watching this video okay bye